All right, border. Border's a pretty good map. Would recommend learning it, I guess. This is the best site. Then I would go here. And then I would go here. This is by far the worst site. If you choose this, you're either retard or super cocky. I'm gonna play Mira to show you some uh, good mirror strategies you can do. Um, so first off, for reinforcements, I would do one, two, Those are like the mandatory reinforcements. Then you can do, um, six, seven, eight, nine. And then your final reinforcement can be right there. And that's basically just to block someone from like, I don't know, opening it up, you know, and having line of sight right here. So that's why I use the last reinforcement there. But basically there are two mirrors that you can set up. You can set up a mirror right here and what that allows you to do is basically if you pull this down if someone tries thermiting this you can use the mirror wall to basically just quick peek but I don't really think this is a good place to put a mirror wall personally. So instead there are two options really for mirror walls, well more like three. So you can put a mirror wall where you reinforce this, actually, or is it this? Hmm. I think it's this right here. Reinforce this. You put the mirror on the furthest to the left. And now you have view of this door, and if they break that, you have view of this, and basically take some pot shots. You can also open up this hatch. If you need to escape, so let's say they're like pushing you or like they break this open, you can kind of take a ballsy move and just do this. That's one option for a mirror wall. So if you do that mirror wall, you would reinforce one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then your last reinforcement can go like wherever, like you know that super dumb spot that you can do right here. You can make that ten. <clears throat> and basically, if I'm going to show you this other mirror spot, this is probably the most common mirror wall that you'll see. Basically, you just put this right here. You can go ahead and barricade that if you want. Make sure you shoot out your mirror like this so you get more visibility. But basically this is really good because if, you know, they decide to some for some reason bust out this wall, you can take some pot shots here and they can also do this. Alright, so that's like reinforcements in general mirror walls. Let's talk about barbed wire. You definitely want a barbed wire here because this is a plant spot that you can do. Like all you have to do. Just literally open this up, you can toss like a smoke, and you can literally just plant right here. So, if you have your mirror player, like your mirror player here, what they can do is they can basically just chuck a C4 like that. And it'll land right, perfectly right here and kill them. Um, if you need like a lineup, here, let's make a lineup really quick. So stand in this corner, aim for the fan. No, that's not working. I don't know, I kind of just eyeball it, but... We can learn. We can learn one real quick. Unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna work. Another thing you can do is you break this computer here. It should give you a prompt to vault. If I can fucking do it. Basically, what it allows you to do is it allows you to get up onto. Uh, yeah, there I did it. On onto this, and you can like break these boxes and vault. And not only can I get my C4, you can also play up here because this is a common thing to break here. So, you can actually break this up here, see line, and you can see this window, these doorways, and you can also kind of see this area. The thing you have to worry about is them breaking the AC window. 
emergency window, you know. You can climb up the ladder on the bus and get up here, or you can repel. Basically, people just like to hold this angle because it's a very powerful position on attack. Um, but like I said, for C4, I'm not really going to give you a line, I'm just kind of like eyeball it. Yeah. Boom. It's really not too hard. But yeah, you want to barb right here because they can plant here. And you can also do is, um, you don't have to necessarily make like punch holes, but you can like break this open. Um, because if they're like going to plant, you can literally just shoot them. You can make like beat holes, I guess, like this. Actually, I guess this would be counterproductive because you're not going to go like this. But, you know, you can open this up if you want. Um, the problem with that, though, is that um, you're visible, a little bit exposed. You can't really play, like, around here as much. I don't know. I, I personally open this up, usually. What else can I talk about? Um, you can play on bomb if they're pushing here. Kind of do stuff like this. Or like this, or like this, you know, you get creative. Like I said, you can jump up here to get angles into this. Uh, what else? You can also use this to kind of quick peek window. The problem is, is that if you're not already up here, you have to fall and they can see your head and you're vulnerable for a brief second, so be wary of that. But if you're like already up here, this is a pretty good angle. What else? Um... On a defender side, you usually want to have someone playing here, because the first thing you want to do on attack, I think I've already mentioned, is you want to clear this room. So usually you want to have someone here on defense, kind of like preventing them from taking this room, or to delay as much time as possible. A good operator have here is Valk, because you can actually throw a Valk cam into this area right here, and it's very difficult for someone to like, you know, just think about that. You can basically toss a cam like in there, and that just allows you to still have a cam in here. Um, a thing you can do for your roamers, you can break this open right there, so like, let's say, you know, they're getting pushed in here, you can kind of just pussy out and run here, and then come back up the stairs. What else I can talk about on this site? Um, so that's like one place you need to have a roamer. Then you have your Mira playing, you know, in B, we'll say. And the other thing you can do have someone play like here holding this door or like right here you know the thing you have to worry about though is that people like breaking open this spot like underneath you so you won't be able to play here anymore so what i do instead is that uh, a common thing that people like to do is um when they're attacking like underneath they like to break open that window so i basically just you know bring the verticality to them I like to pre-open this spot, like right here, like right there, so that if someone decides to fucking break open this window, I can kill them before they can even come underneath. Obviously, if they go the other way, you can't really do anything about it. I mean, if you break this open right here, there's actually another good sight line. So this is kind of just like, you know, if you feel like it, like if you think that they're coming through here, you can do this. Um, but another thing you can do when you're playing the armory, you can break open right under the seats, and if they go front door, they're dead. That's another thing to think about. Um, if you're playing in here, make sure to do something like this. I mean, you don't really have to, but obviously, you know, walls do decrease bullet damage. Um, so you would have ideally a mirror playing here. Um, someone probably playing in this back corner. Um, if you have this closet mirror, you can have like someone here, so that's three. And then like I said, um, you would have a roamer playing in this area. And then finally, you could have like a... Uh, I don't really think you need a roamer here, but you can. Um, like I said, you'd ideally also have this hatch to allow it rotates. But you could also just have a roamer basically just playing underneath. Because, like I said, it's a common thing for people to go into workshop and basically just start bucking underneath here. Because, like I said, um, a common thing that people do is they put a mirror on the, this wall. If I can find it. Yeah. 
on this. So what people do is they come underneath here. Can't really show you as easily with this shotgun, but they come over here and they like shoot the mirror. So that's something you have to keep in mind on attack. If you see the mirror on this exterior wall, you want to come underneath and break it. You can also break this hatch on attack and chuck it like a grenade here. And that'll kill anyone playing on that position. So if you have like a buck, you can break this open and throw a grenade. Um, that's pretty much it for this site. Uh, I might talk a little bit more when we come back on the next rotation. I'm just cams. I guess there's a cam here, there's a cam there, stuff like that. Um, for operator composition, Jaeger is always a good pick. I'll probably go over where you should put your Jaegers. Um, Mira, Bandit, um, to put Bandits on the Mira and also that exterior wall. And then like a Dock is always good. And then like a Vigil to play inside the um, CCTV room because you can like pr protect yourself from drones basically. So now I'm gonna con conversely talk about how you would attack that. I'll just have like a Thermite just, you know. I guess Sludge would have been better so I can show you some things, but it is what it is. So Valley is now a safe spawn, but I just like spawning East regardless, and I'll show you why, I guess. So some ballsy people like to, um, can you shoot the cam from here? Yeah, you can. You can shoot the cam right there. I like to come up this ladder. And that basically just gives you this whole area. So if some retard decides to, like, I don't know, open this up for whatever reason, you can just one-tap them. If someone decides to, like, fucking, you know, run out here for whatever reason, you can kill them real quick. I've killed probably a couple people. Not a lot, but a few. You know, this is just a really safe spot to go because it just lets you kind of, like, see the whole area. I've probably died on this spot, like, once because tip people typically don't pre-aim this because it's, like, why would you? But, yeah, then once you're up here, you can shoot that camera there. So that's two of the three default cams. Really, the two main default cams outside. Um, the thing you gotta be wary about is that this used to be the Valley Peak, so people would break this open. There, there, there wasn't this like truck here or these walls, and they would literally just run up here and kill the people spawning there. But they patched it by adding the truck and these two walls. But you still have to worry if someone impacts this while you're like repelling up, because they can literally just run out and kill you. So, what I do instead is I come over here, repel. And then I don't even have, like, I can literally just move to the side and boom, exit repel. And then I've noticed that Vish in particular likes to do stuff like this when you're droning. The problem with this is not only, like, even if you play more this, like, it's not enough to stop someone from running out on you. Because there's actually another really common run out right here. What people do is they pre-break this, they come out. They like look for angles on the uh, AC unit, you know, they come out here. But the first thing they check is right here. And then once, you know, they come out, they check this, and they go for the AC unit peak. So that's why you should always... It's not really good. You can't really claim more this. So an air jab is good. But if you're talking about droning CCTV, what I person like to do, this is probably the safest thing to do, is to Claymore this window, and then basically just like, drone right here. And that prevents you from getting run out on this, and then if they jump through this window, they're dead. The only problem with this is if, for some reason, there's like a valve cam outside or something, some extremely ballsy flux will do this or this. So ideally you want to have someone watching on repel while you while you drown. Um, but basically you want to drone this. Once you take security, which you can do that by using this with these like that window and like that, you want to do like a two-pronged push, I guess. Like have one person there, one person there, and like clear. Typically people play like, you know, behind this table. Or like this area by the hatch, you can you can kind of try and get some angles, except you're like exposed like that. So probably like in this area, looking for that, and then maybe this. 
in the last area, people like making a rotate hole like right there, and they like playing back here. Because that way they can try and get angles, you know, contest, and then they can hop off. So, once you get control of this, like I said, there's you know, a really gay angle right here. You prone, punch this, boom, you can hold 90. Someone comes out of this uh, door, they're dead. Someone comes up the stairs, they're dead. The other thing you can do, this one's like really not as good. You can blow this up with a Zofia, or you can also make a prone wall. This one isn't as good though. But you should definitely open this up with like a Zofia or like a sledge or something. Um, an angle to think about this, someone pushes out here, this is, you know, a good angle. And you know, just like generic stuff like this, you can hold the stairs. You also want to shoot this cam. What else to think about? Um, breaking open this wall from the outside is a good idea too, because you, you want to push through fountain. And then, like I said, if you're thinking about planning B instead of A, because when, when you're talking about, like, taking CCTV, that means that, ideally, you're trying to push this. You're trying to break this open with a thermite, go on repel, you know, and then you can plant right here in this corner, I believe. And then, if you're going for B, which is the opposite, right? What you want to do is you want to have people push through here, maybe through the stair over there, uh, break open AC, and hold it. You know, like this. Or you know, come up and go aggro. And then you want to have someone, you know, like a Blitz or like a Montane or something come in here and just stand here with a shield. Like, Montane is amazing if you're playing B because you can just stand here with a shield. And then the person can come behind and plant. The problem is, is, of course, if you have a Mira, you can throw a C4, or you can throw a smoke grenade, you know, whatever you need to do. So that's why I don't like taking B, I usually prefer A. But basically, if we're thinking about A again, you open this wall with a thermite, and you have the person plant, and you cover them. Ideally by like trying to clear this with a grenade first, because like, like I said, this is a really good spot to just throw a grenade and kill someone hiding back here. But once you clear this spot, you can usually go into it's an in for a plant. You gotta be careful if this wall is soft or if they have a mirror wall here. If they have a mirror wall here, it kind of changes everything, which is why I said you should break open this hatch and try and kill them with a buck grenade. You definitely need buck on this site because, like I said, you can also buck buck underneath here and kill the person playing behind here. And if for some reason they have a mirror wall here, you can buck underneath the main door and get this mirror wall. And then you can break open the hatch and throw a frag grenade for the mirror there. In terms of here, you can also buck underneath here and destroy this mirror wall. Which is why I usually don't like putting that mirror wall on defense. On defense I put a mirror wall here, I'll explain it the next time I'm on defense. But that's mostly this site um, on attack and defense as well. Um, in terms of what you need on attack, uh, definitely definitely like buck, buck and sledge. Mostly buck though, because you want the verticality upwards. Um, thermite, Thatcher, Habana as well. You know, can't go wrong. If your Thermite dies, at least you have your Habana. Um, and then your last op can be, you know, Zofia, Sledge, whatever. The last attacker is like a Flex, like Nomad, even. Unless you're going for B. If you're going for B, it's a different story. You don't really need a hard breacher. I mean, it's always nice to be flexible and have one, but really you just need like a Montane, you know, and like smokes and stuff. That's that's typically what you do here. And then you can have like a black beard on this window. And that's what I would do for this site. I'm going to briefly touch on some angles on defense. So what I like to do is I like to preemptively break the bottom of these like this. Because if someone's hiding on AC unit, you can actually see, like, this area here and kill them. So I like to preemptively break this. The caveat to this, though, is that if someone goes on repel and, like, wants to hold this window on attack, because that is something you can do. I'll show you. On attack with, like, a black beard or something, you can come up to this window. You have to be careful of this jump out, but you can just hold this area. So that allows the black beard to just get that access without even having to break it. Um, I can't put barricades back up, oops. 
But yeah, this is basically how you attack this site. Is there more? Yeah, but you know, this is just like some things that you should look for, generally. Um, I guess I'll just quickly touch on how to attack this, like, this workshop site. So I'll explain like how defenders set up it. But basically when you attack, you want to basically treat it like an armory take. You want to have a Thatcher and a Thermite. You want to break open these walls. Um, well, first you want to take control of CCTV, right? So you can't get flanked. Then you want to break open these walls, clear the very back here, and then slowly start pushing in and drone out this area over here. Because if you start plucking uh, over here, you can clear any players playing on B, which I'll show next, next defender side. Um, and then from there, you can also open up these hatches and just, you know, start bucking and sledging. Bucking, buck and sledge is so important on this map. But you want to ideally open up all this stuff here. And then you want a Thatcher and a Thermite, not just for the armory walls, but once you're done with the armory walls, you can actually rotate all the way around and come into the bathroom from this area. You want to, like, sledge this, open this up, and be wary of this hatch here. But you want to come in here, and basically you want to put your th uh, Thermite here as well. And that basically just, you know, puts a lot of pressure on the defense. And then the last thing you can do on this site is you can also like sledge open this wall and slowly push into here, you know, watch for these angles. I usually don't do that, but it's an option. So I'll probably touch on a few more things on attack next time around, but now we'll go back on defense. Might as well show a couple spawn peaks too if you want to use them. I'll just go back to Armory. Um, I'll just play Doc, I guess. Eh, probably should have played somewhat of a shotgun, but it's okay. So like I said, the other mirror wall that you can do is instead of having one, two, three... Well, I mean, you still have these two reinforcements, but instead of having this one, you can instead bring two reinforcements here and keep these two reinforcements here, and then put the mirror wall right here, the furthest to the left, so that if someone enters this area, or you know is coming across here, you can just pre-aim them. And the reason why this is strong, and like in a way stronger than this, is that you can't, you can get bucked right here, but you can't right here. The only issue that I can see with this area is if they thermite this wall, but I've almost never seen anyone do this, so I, I wouldn't really worry about it. Uh, you can also kill people that co are coming this window because you'll you'll be able to fucking see them. All right, now for spin uh, spin peaks spawn peaks. So you want to open up this barricade, like I said. You wanna come out, wanna look for the angle, look for this guy here. You wanna come here. That's always a thing you can do. I don't like that one with Doc. That's more of like something with Jaeger. Because, you know, he's a little bit faster. I guess not Jaeger anymore because he's about to get nerfed. But the other spawn pick I have to do is I like to break open this right here with Doc. With the ACOG, I just like to, like, eat. Like, I like to um, strafe because it makes you a little bit harder to hit. And you want to just keep your crosshair, like, centered right here. And then when they come up, basically just wreck them. If you know they came up to the AC unit, you know, you can start like holding angles, like you can hold one right here so that you're less likely to die if they peek here because you know they can't see you on the barricade. Or you can hold it like here. I wouldn't stay too long here because eventually someone's going to come here and just absolutely kill you. Well, of course you can always move to here if you have like a rotator, like a friend helping you. But that's just a spawn peak I like to do. There's also, um, if you don't feel like a or not ADing, but like strafing, you can also just straight up just hold this angle here because this is typically where people run up with like their, you know, like you see their head first. You can just one tap. That's one spawn peak I like to do. The other like major spawn peak I have, this is a pretty risky one, but basically when you're playing like workshop, right? So when you're playing downstairs, not upstairs, you want to go to this very left corner break out this barricade and look straight ahead right here you'll see their feet as they approach and you can literally just instantly kill them here the only problem here is that um like i said you can come up onto this like tower right here i think that's what it is right and you can kind of barely see a person like in this corner so you might take some hits so i would definitely like swan peak with doc and then just heal yourself back up once you're done um is there anything else I need to talk about up here before I move downstairs? 
Not really. I think I basically covered everything. Um, another thing you can do, use this like like metal to your advantage if you're peeking someone in the hallway. Um, this is a kind of shitty angle if you know that someone's on stairs. You can use something like this. Uh, that's pretty much it for this site. I mean, it's a pretty easy site to defend, in my opinion. I'd say the major thing is trying to deny this wall as much as possible, either by, you know, preventing them from taking CCTV as long as possible, or actively bandit tricking here. Which is, you know, if you don't know what bandit tricking is, you'll find out real soon, I'm sure. The problem with bandit tricking is that they can always buck underneath, which is why you typically want to have a player in workshop, just kind of preventing them from bucking, you know. So, I think I've already said, but you want to have like one person back here, a mirror here, then maybe if you have this mirror here, you have one person here, just like helping the dude over there, so that's three players. Then you'll have a player playing in workshop, I'd say. You know, like, over here in this area, maybe in customs, and basically just preventing um, the buck player from opening up this area and, like, this area. And then the last player will, of course, be playing CCTV, and if they need help and there's no one pushing front front door, then you can always have that player front door wrap all the way around in this staircase and help the person in CCTV. And that's basically that site. So I guess I'll briefly go over Workshop. So the way Workshop works is that... You wanna, I'll talk about reinforcements here. So one, two, three, four. Then I would say five, six, seven. And then your last three reinforcements would be um, eight, nine. And then I guess you can put 10 there if you'd like. Um, it's not really a major thing to do. I guess 10 could be like a hatch, like you, if you don't want to play off one of the hatches, you can reinforce this hatch, so that'll be 10. You typically want to leave this hatch open, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, you want to make a rotate hole right here, and the reason why you want to do that is because some um, maniacs on attack like to open up this right away. Maybe throw a smoke down, and literally come in here and just fucking start planting. And by having a rotate here, you can basically, you know, come in here and kill them. So that's why you want to rotate there. Another thing you want to do is, you know how I showed on attack, you want to break open this, you know, to help with B. Well, on defense, you also can break open this right here. So that um, if, you know, someone's playing on this window, like on attack, or like, you know, they're trying an angle, you can instantly kill them from up there. Which leads me to talk about the armory part of this site. So ideally, you want to have someone playing on this rotate hole. So this is a rotate here, because the rotate hole can allow you to look, like you get a sight line into front desk, or not front desk, front door, because if this is open, like you can see front door if they come in. And additionally, besides just being able to hold this, I hold this with a dock usually, but besides being able to do this, you can switch to this, and if someone comes through here, someone comes through customs, you can kill them. So one person playing here with a rotate here, and they're your like B player, I guess. Um, then you can have um, one person. You want to ideally have a Cade and a Bandit here. Um, mostly like a Bandit, really. Or like a Mute or something, because you want to like Bandit or Mute these back four. And you can have someone just playing, you know, back here and just like, you know, holding this door or, you know, coming over here to help your B player. So two people on site. Then, if you want, you can have a person playing in customs as your third player, but the dock can usually handle that, so it's not really a big deal. But if you do have a, if this person isn't in customs, they'll usually be around here, you know, open up this hatch, you know, to help uh, prevent people from taking this. Play near customs, you can roam around and kill people that are going for the bathroom um, attack. And then what else? Alright, so that's like your three players down below, so you'll have two players up top. Once again, if you want to like kind of help with the armor, you can have a person playing in CCTV. And then your last player is going to play up here. And what they're basically going to do, you're going to take a shotgun or like a, 
you know, like an impact, break this open so that they can just hold main door from here, and then they can quickly switch and look down. You want to shock in this, because then you can look down the B window, kind of. And then you want to open up this hatch for a quick rotate if they, you know, if they overwhelm you, like they open up this thermite and you don't want to hold that angle anymore. Um, can, and also, if you're getting pushed over here in Armory, and your CCTV player is assuming they're not dead, they can rotate all the way around here and come help you. Another thing you have to watch out for is that some people like to push Armory from this area, and in that case, your, CCD, your CCTV player has to be adaptable and come help you, essentially. And depending on how skilled of a player, or how skilled of players you face, they might do multiple different attacks, so be careful about that. So yeah, um, as for what you should have on this site, I mean, Doc, like I said, I'm biased, but he's always good. Um, you can put Valkyrie, you can have a Valkyrie for like the Valk cams. Um, smoke is good. Jaeger is always good. And then Bandit and Cade or Mute are basically a necessity. Also, you can shock on this hatch to have an angle here for your Rummer. So yeah. There's that. And that's basically just workshop. Um, in terms of barbed wire, put barbed wire there. <clears throat> barbed wire here. Barbed wire there. And then maybe a barbed wire on like the armory side of things to kind of help, help help with armory. So like, right here. That's basically workshop. That's just kind of like a general overview of workshop. Um, there's probably a lot more that you'll learn once you play. I can't really explain like how all the timings and things work, but it's basically, that's basically how it works. There's one more spawn pick here. This is a lot more risky, but basically when, if people come down this alley, you can literally fucking just kill them right here. But you gotta be careful because instead of running down, they like to run over here and you're completely exposed when you do this. You can also just open this up and kind of sit right here and if they come up valley to AC you can just kill them. Like I said, this is kind of a risky one, but it's just an option. Um, and that's basically defense on border. Pretty easy. I think attacking is a lot harder on this map, but that's just my opinion. And yeah, that is border on defense. I'll explain a little bit about workshop. I'll play Sledge this round so you can kind of see me destroy everything and instead of using the L1, I'll use the shotgun. I guess Buck, Buck would have worked here too, but it's okay. Uh, I guess I'll just show you how to counter the Valley Spawn Peak. It's pretty, I mean, I'm sure you can already tell like what you have to look for. But basically, when you come up here, you want to immediately pre aim the door and then don't come up this side because then you're vulnerable to here. You want to just immediately wrap around and you know, keep looking for this or this. Um, but for workshop, like I said, ideally, you want to do what I explained before and clear CCTV you know, with a two prong attack. Once you clear CCTV, if you think someone might be at the end of the hallway, you know, get your angle here. But then at this point, typically, like I said, you're going to have a two walls that you need to thermite. You need to thermite one. I would recommend thermiting this one. Because if you thermite this one, you can uh, see from repel. But if it's not thermited, you can just ash it or sludge it or whatever. Um, but basically, once you're in here, you can literally just start, like, you know, just opening up the floor. You know, someone, if there's, like, the rotate right here, you can kill someone off of it. Um, some people like to play... Oops. Some people like to play in this corner for whatever reason. You can just kill them here. Um, and then I think right here is a good one because people like to play near the rotate. You can get, like, a angle here. You don't really want to lean prone. But this is really good right here, these two. And then right here isn't a bad idea either because it's like behind the desk and some people like to hold behind the desk and can kill them. So these are like the most important spots. And then you can also open this up if it's not already opened up by a defender. 
and that you can literally just hide here post plant, you know, and just kind of help your teammates from above. But yeah, and then of course, on defense, you'll be opening this up to see the window and the main door. So these two will probably be open if you're playing a competent team. If not, then you know where to open them up now. Um, you can always open this hatch. It's typically opened up if someone's roaming up here. If not, you can always open it up just to add a little bit more pressure. And they can also open up this hatch. Um, you typically don't want to drop this without a drone, but in late round, it is an option. If you do drop this hatch, I would immediately look for this rotate and maybe like over here. And obviously someone just like playing in this corner. It's a cam right there. So if I'm a, also if I want to go for the bathroom strand, right, you got to be wary of this hatch. You want to sledge this also, so you can immediately look for this hatch. You can just hold this angle, and then you want to open up this window. So there's kind of like two different angles that they would have to peek. Um, something you can do if this is soft, you can S charge this. I don't know why they would leave this soft, but you can S charge this or Sophia or whatever, and you can literally just hold this angle and just cut off a lot of their like rotational options. But then, you know, once you get in here, you can just open this up. I would open up this right pane, by the way. Then you can, like, sit in this stall and drone out sight for your teammate who can come in here and then plant. If you want to do it that way, you can also do that just to have, you know, another option late in the round. Um, and then what else about attacking? Like I said, um, if you don't want to attack armor from there, or, like, you lost your hard reacher... That's fine. You can come over here. You can just attack it like normal. Make sure you turn out. That's basically it, I'd say. So ideally, Sledger Buck, Thatcher Thermites, and then like a Flex. That's what I would do.